My character is North, an acronym, uh, or not, for Santa Claus. My character is basically the, uh, the embodiment of Christmas. And um, all of the characters have a kind of a, I guess you'd say like an alter ego. They all have a job. They all seem to be, uh, uh, I always tell people it's like the film is like the Justice League of Innocence. It's all the greatest icons of childhood, uh, the Easter Bunny and the Sandman and the Tooth Fairy and uh, uh, Jack Frost, we recruit him, and Santa Claus uh, to save innocence in the world. In order to uh, be able to uh, take on Jude Law in the movie, um, we, you have to have some kind of contemporizing quality to them. And mine is the guy's really, oh, I don't want to say biker, <laughs> but he has a little bit of a biker. Like, you can just see this guy, like, taking apart his Harley in the garage uh, on the weekends. He's got, yeah, I got the tattoos, naughty, nice. Peter is really a gentleman. He's really a sweet guy. He's very, very focused on... Uh, the style and the tone of the film, and he really understands how we have to um, uh, keep the energy going. Even with children, it's all, you're cutting, and it's new information, new information, what's next, what's next? The kids are with you. You know, they really are with the film, and, they, and, and, and kids can be brutal critics, you know, if it's not edited properly. They, they, they want the movie to move. <clears throat> and I think one of Peter's greatest gifts is he understands that the velocity of the film is, is important. When I saw this movie, it is so beautiful, the colors and the sets and the, and the, and the uh, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful, sweet story. It's a, ch it's a children's story, and um, as it should be, but it's, it's so beautifully done. I, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen anything out there now that's as beautiful as this is.